sorting with a cow dog. We hope that you will be able to learn how to sort with a cow dog just by watching us sort with a cow dog. You know, when we're children, that's the way we learn. That's the benefit of videos. That's why we use videos for training. So we'll just show you how we do it. I'm Merle Newton. This is my wife, Sandy. And um, here we are sorting in an alleyway. These fellows here are sorting the horn cattle off from the uh, muley cattle. This is just uh, something that's part of everyday ranch work. Uh, something that we have to be able to do if we're going to uh, work cattle on a ranch. It takes uh, two or three people to do this job. And uh, it's, uh, uh, we make mistakes doing it too. If you notice these guys are having a little, little hassle here, some getting these cattle getting these cattle sorted, a little bit of stress on the cattle. We're going to show you how to do this with a cow dog. Most ranchers won't even let their dog in the corral. So here we are sorting with a dog. Now this is a little bit different style of sorting because we're just going in sorting out one cow at a time. But this is kind of a classic sort. This is the way that uh, you would be able to use your dog to sort for any purpose. Here I'm just sorting the the uh, muley cows off of the horn cows. Main thing here is I want my dog just to lay quiet and not get up and screw the thing up for me. What I see more often than anything is the dog uh, uh, wants to hold the cattle so it'll come in and uh, uh, turn the cow back that you're wanting to sort out. This little dog's doing a really fine job of it here. This is the way it should look. <clears throat> I got the dog at one side of the corral I'm sorting the cattle out on the other side. Now I might need him to get up and move over to turn the, if I've got horned cattle going out, he's gonna have to go over and lock them, turn them back. Now here's a classic move coming up here where uh, when, we, when we get these cows sorted off, he's blocking, basically blocking the, the path for the cow out, but I call him past the head of the cow. When the dog passes the head of that cow, that uh, cow just takes off, just leaves. Dog drives her out, call him back. Here I'm going to put this in slow motion because I want you to see this dog pass the head of this cow without any hesitation, without trying to stop the cow, without turning that cow back, it comes right past the head of the cow. Also watch how he stays on the left eye of this cow as he drives this cow out. The fence is on the right, so he's going to stay on the left eye He's purposely pushing on the back of this cow's eye to push it out. Watch how this cow looks around at this dog when he gets directly behind her. She starts looking around to see where the dog is. Didn't have any choice but to get behind her right there. Now we will show you uh, some of the training techniques how we got this dog. This is the same little dog I'm sorting out of the corral with. If you have an opportunity to do this out on the ranch where you have a lot of cattle, we just got a, probably a hundred or two uh, head of cattle gathered up in the corner here. I'm just going to sort off one at a time, teaching my dog to sort. This is a great opportunity to teach your dog to how you work cattle, to get on the same page as the handler. Notice how he's kind of looking back at me. He's going, hey, what's the deal here? We're, you know, I'm supposed to be keeping these cows together. But I'm coming right along behind him. If the cow stops and turns around and looks at him like this, I'm not going to take a chance on having my dog walk up and, and hit that cow in the face because the cow would be likely just to run over the dog and turn around and go back to the herd. I want to make this a positive experience for my dog. This is a training session. I'll just take the cow that's easiest, the one that wants to leave, one that I think looks like she's kind of anxious to leave and looking at the uh, looking at the gate. I'm just going to take her out, call my dog in. Now you notice he's paying a little more attention now. He's kind of thinking about going around and heading her off, but I'm going to stop him, lay him down here, let him walk up on her again. He actually put a little pressure on her to make her move that time. When, when he put pressure on that cow to move, I stopped him because I wanted to, to teach him to uh, release the pressure. When the cow is moving off of your pressure, release the pressure and the cow will move. 
will continue to move. Same story. I'm going to lay my dog down. Is your light bulb going over his head? Yeah. Push a cow past my dog. Call my dog in. Just watch the progress of this little dog, how he's actually liking this, working it, wanting to do it. I stop him since that cow turns around because I don't want to get a conflict right now. Watch him cross over this ditch and come over and catch that cow's eye. He's really thinking about pushing cattle, sorting cattle. Somebody else sends their dog in to hold the herd, keep them uh, separated for me so I don't have to worry about those cows coming back. Now I'm going to show you how we start a dog on sorting. Now this little dog has some commands. She, she, she uh, has a good down on her. I've taught her to lay down while I go in and uh, move cattle around. She also has some pretty nice square flanks where I can uh, send her come by and away. Um, and she'll kind of roll her shoulder out off the cattle like that. And flank around to the position I want her in. Stop her. If your dog don't have these uh, commands on her, don't have these... Uh, things already on your dog, then you're probably not ready to start this sorting. Now, we just got gentle, dog broke cattle. We're in a controlled environment. And um, we're just going to take our time and uh, try to not do anything to discourage this little dog. She knows how to gather cattle. I certainly don't want to discourage her from gathering cattle. So I'll just step in here and take one out. Just call her to me. Call her in. See, she's just being called to me right now. That cow runs by her. She's not even looking at cows. She just, I'm just calling her in. I let her go gather those and bring them back. I want to make sure I maintain the instinct, the training that I already have in her. Always wanted to, to have that uh, instinct to gather cattle, real strong. Have her just lay down there nice and quiet while I go in and sort one out. She's actually holding the herd. As she progresses with this, she'll get where she will just hold the herd and not go after the one that I'm sorting out. She'll learn to, to help me with it. Here she's going, hey, you left a bunch back. That's okay. I'm not going to discourage her. Just let her go around and gather them all up again. Them back in the corner again. It's good to sort out of a corner. The beginning. We actually wind up uh, with our dogs doing this out in the field, just circling the cattle up and two handlers and two dogs and just sorting out in the middle of the field. But right now, we're just teaching our dog to come in between cattle that we have pushed out and the herd. I'm just letting her lay there while I go in and work the cattle a little bit. Now she gets up, starts to starts to turn that cow back, so I just stop her. Call her to me. It's okay, baby. It's okay if we let one go. Well, she actually came in and pushed on it a little bit. She was kind of kind of partly responsible for that one turning back, but that's all right. Rome was not built in a day. That little maneuver there where she goes around on the opposite side of the cows, that's something I'm going to need later. You'll see how I'm able to use that to actually have her help me sort. Now this gives me an opportunity here to call her in from the other side. We have to do everything from both sides. If we call her in on the left, we've got to call her in on the right. Also, send her to gather them both ways. Sometimes I'll send her to the left, sometimes to the right to gather these cows and bring them back. A little bite there, a nice little clean bite. That's just right. I'm still uh, allowing her to use all the things that I've taught her and all the natural things that the Lord gave her. Now, these three jerseys, of course, they were raised together, so they are easy to separate. And I thought this might help her to start concentrating on the cattle that we're driving a little bit more. 
Uh, sometimes a dog will, will kind of want to keep them together. And plus I can go out farther, get farther from the herd with these. They're, they're willing to leave. They're not trying to turn back. So it doesn't, you don't necessarily have to sort just one cow at a time. Now I'm going to send her the other way to gather her cows. So I'm actually just, you know, reinforcing some uh, other things as well. The gather, the down, uh, the patience to, to lay there and not get up when I'm working cattle, square flanks. All those things are, are going into this. her a little bit deeper into the corner this time. I'm actually flanking her all the way past the head of the cows. This is something I'm going to need to be able to do where I actually pinch those cows off that come between me and her. Now when I have her come up, see how I had her cut that black one back. I just had her pass the eye of the black one. Now look at her. She's actually pushing these cows. She's driving these cows and, and uh, starting to get the idea of actually sorting. Now we're going to go into a little bit different video. I think that it's important that you watch this next video in its entirety. This is my wife, Sandy, sorting with a dog that is actually afraid to be in the cow in the corral with the cows. Metal is a little dog that has had some problems, and so she's a little bit insecure, which you're going to see in this video. And so we're going to have to show some successes. We're going to have to ha make her feel good. Right now she's checking it all out and I'm bringing a cow up to her to show her and she goes, I can't take the pressure. I think I'll leave. And then she goes, but Sandy, I'll come back. I'll come back for a little ways and see how you're doing this because I really don't want to leave you. I just, I can't take the pressure. And here we come again and she goes, nope, I knew I better get out of here. And then I call her back <clears throat> she tries again. That's a good thing when she stood there for a little ways, and now she leaves. She's, she doesn't understand, so she just leaves. So I call her back in. When I call her back in, I think to myself, okay, I need to do something that is successful. So this time, I'm going to ask her to be more successful and do something that she likes. So I'm going to have her bring all the cattle out. She knows how to do this. She feels confident with this. And so we'll start with success. So now we're pushing the cattle. She's get, getting the feel. You can see her feel it. And she feels good about what she's doing. And I'm talking to her, telling her how good she's doing, and giving her positive reinforcement. These dogs need to have a lot of positive reinforcement because they don't understand now here's a fetch. This she knows very well. So she's going to go do her fetch. And now she's going to come back with confidence. And she's going to want to start all over again. So now we're going to try <clears throat> again. She's checking in with me, saying, come on, come in with me. So we're going to go through the gate. And we're going to try it again. Send her to the right. See the confidence there? She went off to the right pretty decent. She was feeling it, feeling good. Told her to lay down. And I'm going to take half of the herd now because I want her to still feel good about what she's doing. And I know that she's not ready to go down to this, the lower end of the cattle, lesser cattle. Here we go. So she hesitates. So I said, okay, we'll go together. She feels good. She's still checking in with me, though. A little insecurity trying to get through that gate. But she went through it. She did it. She feels good about it. Now I'm going to ask her to drive a little bit because I need the driving. But she doesn't understand it totally. She wants to fetch. But I'm going to go with her and do some driving. Here we go. Nice drive. Nice drive. Watch out. There's a fetch trying to come in. I put a stop. Good. Good. <clears throat> now we're going to try again. She checks on me all the time. She's, she likes to be your partner. This is a real plus. She works hard at getting along. So that's why you try to give her success. She's thinking now. She's really thinking. 
So we're going to try some more of what she's confident with. There we go. She's going to take down. She stops. There. She's still checking in with me, but she goes out to her left. She was going to the right. Now we've got her going to the left. Big plus. She feels pretty good about it. She's walking right along with me. Now we're a team. Teamwork. There it is. She lays down. Now we're going to bring these over. Maybe. Okay, she turns and comes around because I ask her to. This is a real plus. She's going to pick up the ones behind me. There we go. Now she's getting a real comfort zone there because she's feeling like, I don't quite know what you're doing, Sandy, but I'm going to work hard on helping you. So I'm going to accept some of the stuff that maybe I don't want right now, but I will want later on. And if she understands now, then she'll understand later on. She's coming up from behind here. Okay. There, I sent her to the left. Laid her down. Working on getting cattle. She's watching me work. She's, she's not feeling insecure. She's feeling good. She's sent to the right when I ask her to. Real big pluses here. Really doing well. Here we go. See her turning them. She's actually facing them off now. <clears throat> that one challenged her a little bit, but she didn't leave. She stayed at her post. There we go. Now we're going to bring these out. Now watch the confidence. She's turning them. She's waiting, and she's doing some driving by herself, and then she goes with me. You see, she's more comfortable. She feels a lot better about what she's doing. She has some confidence going on. She likes what she's doing there. Nice drive coming up here. Just one drive and look at the difference in her right here. She's confident. She feels good. She likes it. And that's what we're after. We've got some big pluses going on here. She's just really, really tried hard. I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> Okay, she's coming in now. I, I think she feels really good about it, so I'm going to try to do a single and see how she accepts it. We have to go on. We can't stay in one place all the time and forever, so let's do it. She's a, she has a lot of confidence in other areas, so it doesn't mean that she hasn't built some confidence here. And obviously seeing her drive, and now she's laying there waiting for me. Now watch. There, see, she took the flank when I asked her to. And she took it. She didn't hesitate. She didn't say, I don't think I can. She just took the flank. Good deal. Okay, now she's pushing the other cattle up. And I've called her off of them. Real plus. Real plus. And she's pushing. There we go. She's going to take the one out and look at the dog's face. She feels good. And she pushes out and she's going to drive the cow. Very good. We'll just end this video on a positive note with a young dog just doing it right. Look for more videos in the future. Until then, this is Merle and Sandy Newton and we'll see you down the road. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Here. Walk up. Walk her up. There.